We knew what sort of missile was responsible because that was established by an earlier investigation, a Russian-made Buk uh, surface-to-air missile system. That's contentious because both Russia and Ukrainian forces operate that particular uh, anti-aircraft system. Russia has always insisted it had nothing to do with it, but this two-year-long international criminal investigation says that it has found overwhelming evidence that says otherwise. Through examining social media posts, that's video, pictures, through looking at mobile uh, cell phone towers, uh, intercepted phone calls and witness accounts. This investigation says that it has accumulated a vast amount of evidence that shows this particular missile system was brought from territory of the Russian Federation into Ukraine. It then progressed in a convoy to the position where it was fired and shot down that uh, airliner MH17, killing all 298 people on board. And then it returned to Russia the very next day. Now this is a criminal investigation. It's an update on a criminal investigation. Its purpose is to ultimately bring people to justice, bring them before a court. Today the investigators didn't want to say too much about that except that they believe they have identified some 100 people or so linked to the transportation or the firing of the weapon system and so now they are trying to examine or get further information on the chain of command who ultimately ordered that missile system to move into that position, lock on to that aircraft and fire. They didn't say it specifically, but the implication of this is that this investigation is now focused on serving Russian military personnel. Carol. So, so um, I know you sort of intimated it, but who exactly could be charged with the crime for blow I mean, and let's remind viewers, this was a passenger plane. This was not enemy aircraft over Ukraine. No, indeed. So Malaysia Airlines flight uh, from uh, Amsterdam uh, flying over Ukrainian airspace with 290, 298 people on board. Finding out who did this is obviously the very difficult part. And they say that they are now working on that next step uh, of the investigation. Where that progresses from here, it's really unclear, Carol, because Russia continues to deny that it was involved.